So you want to make it in the fitness industry. You want to get established. You want to become a sponsored athlete and all these cool things. You want to be at these shows, these expos, so on and so forth. This is my advice to you. You are watching a master at work. DJ Sound. Money, money, money. My first bit of advice, if you look at the fitness industry in terms of what can I get out of it, instead of looking at it from a perspective of what can I give to it, you're not gonna last, period. I do believe in the whole idea that a lot of times it's who you know, not what you know, but this is one of those fields of work where it's easy to distinguish who's good at what they do and then who's full of shit. The biggest and probably most important thing, in my opinion, when it comes to trying to become like a sponsored athlete or become like this person that people can watch online and appreciate, is never forget to just be exactly who the fuck you are. Don't conform to what people are telling you is correct. Don't try to be like the next guy or the next girl because all that's gonna do is force you to be phony. At some point, you're gonna expose yourself to be a fraud. With that being said, be an individual. There's no individuality if your idea of being different is to follow whatever trend is going on or whatever style of content is going on. You're just gonna be the next motherfucker that get a like on Instagram. And the only reason I say that is because these people that have more followers, more followers than people who are actually good at teaching or contributing, when they go to like these expos, these shows, you don't really see people coming up to them and being like, wow, like thank you for that what I eat in a day video. Like I never would have, I never would have made it here in Florida to tell you thank you, or I never would have made it here in Los Angeles to tell you thank you if it wasn't for your what I eat in a day videos. We've seen that shit all the time. If you want to gain in this industry, figure out very quickly what can you offer it? What can you give to fitness and bodybuilding as a whole? It doesn't have to be the shit that I do. It doesn't have to be teaching. It doesn't have to be. You can just be you. You can be a Sam Sulik. Perfect fucking example. That's just a kid who loves to train and loves to eat like millions of other people, thousands of people around the world. That's exactly who, he's, who he is. When he's on camera, you can tell that's him. That's his, that's his personality. And it's so cool to see people kind of fall in love with just a kid being a kid that loves weightlifting. There's this thing going on now where like kids are eating in front of the camera. Like they'll go to the gym, set their phone up on their tripod or their camera on a tripod, not even do a working set. We're talking like warm up fucking sets and then pull food out their book bags and start eating and talking on the camera. Since when the fuck did this become like lunchtime? Like my lunch break? Could you imagine walking into the gym and seeing somebody on a machine that you're trying to use, chewing and smacking and shit, crumbs all around their mouth, crumbs all on the machine? Like, could you imagine how irritating that would be to the person that's really here to train? Don't be like those people. Don't, they're just in the way. They're just in the way. Point number two, in the fitness industry, you can't jump at the sound of everything that sounds like a fucking opportunity because it's not. Stand for something as an individual or fall for anything. And what do I mean by that? You're gonna have brands reach out. You're going to have brands that reach out and what's gonna sound like a deal or what's gonna sound like finally, like my first break. I gotta promote this thing, post once a week. I gotta put it on my story and they're gonna give me commission for every sale that I make, I'm telling you right now, save yourself the fucking trouble. It, this is the mentality you should have. How dare you bust your ass to get all these followers, to get followers through your hard work, through your training, through your teachings, and fall victim to a DM, a direct message that sounds like an opportunity. All that is is free promo. Prime example, <coughs> I'm a sponsored athlete with two companies, Prime Evil Labs, The One Up Lifestyle, and y'all already know this, and then I have a partnership with Gold Links Official, which is the jewelry company who gave me this cross, the same chain you see me wearing every single time, right? Within the last two weeks, I've had a now fourth meal prep company reach out to me, and there has not been one deal or contract signed and secured yet. Why? The pitch from the company is, we'll give you free food and 30% commission, 35% commission for every sale that you make. What the fuck kind of deal is that for me? You mean to tell me that you as a company 
are going to give me food in exchange for promotion to thousands of followers. Not just a couple thousand, thousands of followers. What the fuck kind of deal is that? You don't have to have the 200K on IG. You don't have to have the half a million on TikTok. That's besides the point. Forget followers. I said stand for something. So you as a person, if you have a thousand followers, 500 followers, and you know, like, nah, that that don't even sound cool. Like that sounds like that sounds like some some cheapskate shit. It is, bro. It is. I don't want you to feel like you gotta hard work, hard work, hard work, and promote this other company who's not willing to pay you a fair piece of change. You're gonna offer me food in exchange for promotion to hundreds of thousands of people? What kind of deal is that? I've been eating, I don't need food. I've been eating and I'm eating good. And I, I looked the part, I talked I talked the part, I'm sure. But that's the same reason you reached out to me. This is why I fuck with Prime so heavy. This is why I fuck with the One Up Lifestyle so heavy. Because I feel like they, they sponsor me, but they truly believe in me. Prime was with me before I had what, like 20K? And then I just blew up through consistency of my teachings. I worked to get to the contract that I'm at now. And so I don't want you guys to be like, oh, like this, oh, this gym company said they're gonna send me a free hoodie. They're gonna send me a free hoodie and they want me to promote it to my 2K. If you have 2K followers, 2K followers and five to 10 people purchase that hoodie and use your code, how much of that are you getting? Maybe a hundred bucks? Come on, bro, math's not hard. But when these companies make it seem like they care, see through the bullshit. Because it's gonna establish like for yourself the ability to know what's good business versus what's shit business. Don't settle for shit business. The hell this look like? In my opinion, that's the same shit as the clubs. When clubs post flyers, and say ladies free till 11. Who the fuck's getting there before 11? Who, we're getting ready at 11, bro. Because we know that bitch about to start jumping at midnight. Free drinks till 11, yeah. And if I start drinking at 11, guess what? I'm gonna be gone by 12. See through the bullshit, man. Know your worth, know your worth, bottom line. Number three, embrace the hate because it's inevitable. And I'm not telling you who to worship or anything like that, but I know my Lord and Savior, he had haters too. Now, you see, I'm in the process of changing my hair, but when I had the blue hair, they'll talk shit. I rock the big ass bike chain, as you see, all the time, and they'll talk shit. The only thing that led to, for myself, was success. I'm not saying don't engage with people who talk shit. If you talk shit, just be prepared that someone like myself might talk shit back. But when I say embrace the hate, it's a fine line. You gotta be careful because if you say something that can be blown out of proportion, which is a situation I've been in in the past, motherfuckers will try to cancel you. They'll try to cancel you. They tried to cancel me in like two summers ago. The only fucking thing that happened is I went up even more. Everybody that left, that's cool. I stayed true to exactly who the hell I am, exactly who I am. And the only thing that happened was I went up more and more and more. So when they talk shit about you, how you look, how you sound, the advice you're giving, what they can't deny is that when you go to these shows and people are expressing their appreciation for you, when people are asking you to autograph stuff, when people are sharing their love in the comments for the things that you're doing, this is the shit you can't deny. You can't deny when people are sending you pictures of themselves or videos saying thank you. You've changed the way that I train. You've changed my physique. That shit you can't deny. I had a, I had a guy actually maybe four or five days ago, four or five days ago, out throw the message up on here, but I'll blur his name out for the sake of his privacy. But a dude who's paralyzed, a dude who is paralyzed, messaged me and told him like, thanks to me, thanks to me, he's back in the gym, he's motivated, his weight's up, all these good things, all these good things. And I was just humbled by the message. But that's what matters. That's the kind of stuff that matters. Not, oh, you look like fucking Sonic with your blue hair. Oh yeah, like, that's cool. Or when I wear the chain, oh, you forgot to lock your bike up. It's like, damn, how many times have we heard that one? So embrace the hate. It don't mean shit, you're good. None of that shit means anything, man. Like negativity, it don't mean shit. It's welcome, especially on my, on my channel, on my page. If you wanna talk shit and shoot the shit with me, by all means. But I've never been to one show, one expo, one meet and greet, one fucking workout, one gym 
where someone came up to me and was like, yo, I can't fucking stand you. You're annoying as shit. You and your little blue hair and your little big ass bike chain. Like, it's never happened. It's never happened. It's only on the internet. Embrace the hate. <clears throat> Oh, speaking of which, when I say like, there's certain um, people who are like, they're cool on Instagram and shit, but you go and you see them in public, they're fucking square pants and shit. That's why I bought this hoodie. Y'all know exactly who this is. You read the back? Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, for real, for real. You should see some of these guys. Like they're cool as shit on Instagram. And they get in public and it's like, who, who, who is that? Those are the people in my eyes, they will not last. Why won't they last? Because they're taking. You could take as long as you want, but at some point that shit's gonna run out. And because you're not giving back or helping, you know what I mean? It's just gonna get rough. My last point, my last point if you're trying to make it to some degree in the fitness industry, get some sponsorships, get you some extra income. My last piece of advice is study the game. Study this field. And when I mean study, I mean more so just the history of it. Learn from the greats. Find out what worked well for those before us. In order to replicate success, why not learn from the best? If I wanted to Go learn how to shoot a three-pointer. Give me Steph Curry, not fucking Shaq. With all due respect, cause Shaq, you're the GOAT, but Shaq can't shoot with Curry. So if I just wanted to learn how to shoot, I'm gonna learn from the best. The point is, study the game and learn from all these guys. Golden era, current era, and I encourage that because that's gonna set you up to be very good and very confident behind the camera. It's gonna set you up to be very reliable. It's gonna set you up to be very trustworthy. Um, because I do believe that the most important thing is walking it like you talk it. Don't just tell me some shit like a lot of these TikTok dorks do. Don't just tell me. Don't tell me what I need to do. Show me. Show me. If you can't fucking show me, I don't, I don't care. When they say, oh, like, but the literature says, like, I don't give a fuck about reading. What did you do? What did you specifically do? Coach, trainer, influencer, so on and so forth. Be reliable, and the only way you're gonna be reliable, bodybuilding is just like any other sport in my opinion. You study the game to get good. If you took it in football terms, a quarterback has to study the defense and certain players to know exactly how they play so that he can tear their ass up when they get on the field, and vice versa. If I don't study the game and learn what they're good at, how will I ever get better? So when we talk about guys and girls that wanna compete, yeah, study, study your opponents. Learn what they're good at. Learn what they're weak at. Why not? Why not? That's how you get good. And then the more good or the better you get, hey, something's gonna come out of it. And then an honorable mention, fifth and last is, when you're starting out with content, you gotta be fucking consistent. Consistent, consistent, consistent. I was doing two to three videos a day, but then it got to a point where my videos with now, they kind of take off all the time. And so just like music, if you have an artist that's always dropping, and you don't get a chance to hear certain shit that they drop, it's hard to appreciate what they may have dropped because they're dropping all the time. And so that's what you'll notice with some people, they're posting two and three times a day and the shit's not hitting. If anything, the views are going down, the likes are going down, the engagement's going down. It's because you're, you're posting too much. So I gave this advice to some of my teammates. Less is more. And when you're good, you're unfucking deniable So that when you post, it's like, dang, like that motherfucker's on it. Like that motherfucker's the truth. That comes from studying the game. That comes from studying this field. That comes from being in here and actually doing what it is that you're teaching or doing whatever it is that you're making content on. It's not like, oh, when the camera turns on, now I turn into this character. That's not what this is. Fuck the cameras. Take away the social media and everything else like that. And you put the cameras away and you step out into the real world, that's who you are. And that's why I encourage you to be on and off camera. But those are my um, tips to succeed in this field, in the gym, in fitness, in bodybuilding, to get you a little bit of a, uh, you know, extra cheese in your pockets. Hopefully that helps. If not, oh the fuck well. Be safe, be smart. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do, which is a lot. Peace.